Hi, it's Mike with Utastic. I'm here at GoToConf 2015. I'm sitting here with Jerry Cattell, who is one of the organizers with the Chicago DevOps Group. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. Um, so Chicago DevOps, what? how did you get involved in that, and, and what, what is the DevOps Group? Sure. I mean, DevOps in general, at least, I mean, you can ask anyone, they'll have different definitions. Right, right. For me, it's, it's generally about sort of breaking down silos and getting everyone in the company to sort of alignment and mm -hmm. trying to achieve the same goals instead of development and operations sort of fighting each other historically. Right. Uh, so, yeah, so I, I've been involved with the organization for, I guess, about three years now. Oh, okay. So uh, it's been around a little while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's actually been around probably for five years or so. Okay. Um, it it's, was registered with the actual meetup.com slash DevOps. So oh, the, it was the first one. Yeah, um, I would say so, that's, so, that's, a, that's a coveted title. Yeah, so uh, Martin Logan registered that long ago. And mm -hmm. yeah, he's he was the original creator of it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it, it's I basically got involved because I've always sort of straddled the line between development and operations and database administration. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was just finally finding a place that I kind of belonged. Yeah. Um, in general, I think it's a lot more about just improving the whole process of developing software at a company and streamlining that. And you mentioned that you know the group's been around longer than you've been a part of it. So, and now you're an organizer. You know, so what brought you to the group, and then what kind of encouraged you to want to invest time into helping run the group? Sure. I mean, well. I went to a couple of them before, mm -hmm. but like it's just as a, uh, an attendee to, right. to the meetups, and always thought it was very interesting. Um, then Martin left to go to Seattle, yeah. leaving sort of a, a void, and yeah. then so I, I had missed the talks on those subjects, and then so I, I thought, well. I might as well see if I can yeah, help on that. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I basically decided to put in the time just because I think it's a great group of people that attend the meetups, and, and I tend to learn a ton just, just from hearing how they're solving their problems. Mm -hmm. Like any meetup group, I mean, you, you just want to understand you know, how do you solve this yeah. problem that I'm having at work well, yeah, right now? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> and, and also, I mean, because as the organizer, part of your job is to find good speakers and stuff. Right. And so a lot of that has been just sort of me being able to reach out beyond our community and actually start to, to talk to people that I would have never introduced myself right. to just, you know, that, at a crowd or at a conference, I might not have talked to them in the past. But yeah. now as the organizer, I'm like, okay, now I actually have a reason. To <laughs> that's that's an excellent point. And that's actually one of the things that, that I've discovered is with Yuktastic is you have a reason to go up to people. But you're like, oh, I went to a conference and somebody gave a presentation. Okay, great. And then you just go off and do your business. But if you're a user group organizer, now you have... It, you know, a reason like, hey, would you come to our group? And yeah, it's like I really enjoyed your talk, yeah. and I'd love for you to give that talk to, to like the local community now, right? Right. From wherever I might be yeah. seeing them talk, and yeah, it's it's a so that's been one of the huge benefits of being an organizer is just meeting all these amazing yeah. people. Yeah, it's, a, it's an open doors. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and and speaking of uh, of other community events, you mentioned there's the DevOps Day, which you you got the shirt on for. What is DevOps Days? So DevOps Days is. is it's been around for about five, almost six years now. Yeah. Um, the first one took place in Ghent in and, and 2009, and that was just sort of the start of it all. It's now been, I think, over 50 events worldwide. Mm -hmm. Chicago first held DevOps Days. They, they had their first DevOps Days last year. Okay. Um, and so we're doing it all again this year in August and 25th and 26th. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so it's... it's Is it a multi-day conference? Yeah, it's, it's a two-day conference. It's got presentations. It's got... Ignite talks. It's got open spaces, so it's like a, a good mix of lots of things. It's it's, it's a much more participatory conference mm -hmm. than than the standard one where you just sort of go and listen to someone talk. Right. It's much more about actually voicing the things you care about and and like actually talking to each other. And yeah. It's a lot more. It's than not the and, lecture style. No, not at all. So it's it's definitely. A great conference that I love going to, um, yeah. and so when we finally got one here in Chicago, it, it, we were thrilled, and then we had a great response last year, so we decided to do it again this year. So if I just Google DevOps Days, 
devopsdays.org will get you okay. to the main website, and from there you can click to Chicago okay. and uh, see all our stuff. And right now, actually, our call for proposals is open, so yeah. anyone who wants to do that. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, so DevOps Days, and then it's a, it, you said it, it runs in several cities and different states at different times? Yeah, I mean, Austin was just last week. Mm -hmm. I think Toronto was actually this week. Oh, so it's all and, over the place. Yeah, and, and like I know Minneapolis is in July. It, we're in August. Yeah, and they're they're just great events to go to. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for taking the time thank to speak you. with me. Appreciate Absolutely. it.